阿部紀之監督による初のアニメ化上様のオラーリー Hey guys, welcome to my soap app review series and this time I'll be covering the anime Oku The Inner Chambers exclusively on Netflix Joining me once again is Rascal Entertainment Hello Hey, hello <laughs> This Netflix series is based on a critically acclaimed manga series by the same name that's set in an alternate history of Japan. Now, when a mysterious disease that only affects men travels across the country, 80 years later, the male population is less than half of women, and the roles of power have been reversed, leaving a majority of powerful and political roles to women. We've watched the one hour, a little over an hour, pilot episode, and it's definitely one you've got to see. But, Before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell dates on upcoming reviews, spoofs, hacks, tips, and more. Absolutely. So, when I first saw this was coming to Netflix, Rascal said, Oh no! And I said, This looks like it's going to be pretty good. Now, she'll tell you I have a 100% track record. When I say something looks like it's going to be pretty good, it's pretty good. And this is definitely. A pretty good anime. It sounds like something that might be convoluted, but it isn't. It's not only beautifully animated, the story is really interesting. The characters, even in that short, one little over an hour time we saw the pilot. Yeah, I think it was about an hour and 18 minutes. You really got to know the main character, supporting characters, and some interesting. Different arcs that are going on within it. Right. And we actually had no idea what this was in the beginning. We just saw that it was coming soon to Netflix. Mom read the information and just added it to a reminder so it would be added when it became available. And the only thing I had known is that it was a manga originally. And when they had the trailer, there were some people that actually had read the manga or watched one of the previous versions that were not anime. And It's pretty well acclaimed as a fantastically written story. So, there is actually a fan base for this. It's just now it could possibly grow with this anime. Absolutely. Now, in case you're not familiar with it, there's been a 19 volume manga, a live action film in 2010, a TV drama in 2012, another live action film in 2012, the TV drama. That actually aired from January 10th to March 14th this year, and of course, the Netflix original net animation.、Mm -hmm. So, Oku the Inner Chambers is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Fumi Yoshinaga.、Mm -hmm. It was serialized in Melody from June 2004 to December 2020, so it ran a long time with its chapters collected into the 19 volumes.、Mm -hmm. And it follows an alternate history of early modern Japan. As we mentioned, an unknown disease kills most of the male population, leading to a matriarchal society in which the Oku becomes a harem of men servicing the now female shogun. Right. So to me, it seemed really interesting. Alternate history, historical fantasy, romance. It seemed something really interesting. I know there have been other movies made in the West that tackle. An event of where something happens to the men, there's only women left, but they've usually been done terribly, <laughs> yeah, horribly, and maniacally was... mean. Yeah, it never really turns out well here. It, the only time it's been done in an interesting way here was in the Justice League two part episode back in the 2000s, and that was done really, really well. But when they've done the plot recently, yeah, like they had one called Why the Last Man, and it was a similar concept where a disease wiped out all the men except for one. And the women took over, but it wasn't done in where they were going to be running society and everything. They just caused total anarchy, and they found out there was one guy left and they were going to kill him so they could have the world they wanted. And it was like a really. Messed up type situation. So, aside from Justice League, it's been a really mean spirited concept outside of that. So, it's good to see that someone actually did something with that and it's done where in a way where there's a storyline and not just someone's ideal world. So, yes, this actually is 
a quite interesting version of a take on that scenario. And there's some really interesting characters. There's good guys, there's bad guys, and amazingly, the main character... Uh, the Shogun, right? Yes. Okay. okay. It ended up being totally different from what you thought she was going to be. Mm -hmm. It takes place during the rule of the Tokugawa Letsumitsu, the third shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate. And the Yoshimune is the one we're speaking of. And she presents herself as one way, but you find out she really cares about her country, she cares about what's happening, and she knows something is amiss. Mm -hmm. And that's how the first episode ends, so let me go back a little bit before that. You pretty much find out what this particular place is about. Mm -hmm. You meet the men who are there after there's a young man who is in love with a childhood friend, but based on how society is, he's got to go into the... The chambers, yeah. The chambers, yes. And I, I'm going to call it say that. that. It goes into the chambers. And so he lets her know he loves her before he leaves by kissing her. Then he ends up in the chambers. And when he gets there, it's, it's like the Shawshank Redemption and the sisters. And you think it's going to turn out one way. But when you see the scene, you're actually surprised that not only did they have these lines spoken by the voice actor, mm -hmm. but this was the attitude they had. We won't spoil it for you. Right. So it was a totally different take than what we expected. Uh, this young man is intelligent. He's kind, he's sensitive, he's loving, and prior to going to the chambers, he's actually been sleeping with women for free. Right. Especially older women who wanted to have children but can't afford right. to pay the fees. Right. And, and so And it's not done in a way where it's like Moroku uh, just sweet talking women, bear children, that's right. it. They make it <laughs> and, and they don't and the women never believe him when he says they were begging for a child, and there weren't a lot of guys around, and they wanted to have one before they got past a certain age. And they show actually scenes of it happening, so he's not just saying it because he's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. He really is doing it because he feels sorry for the women who aren't finding any men to be with. So it actually shows he cares enough to do that because of how this particular world is set up so they actually add a bit of a layer in there while the female characters will never believe it because of what you see in the other shows but the audience sees it uh in the flashbacks and things so i do like that it shows there's more than one side to this it's not a paradise land like some would have it here like it's a dream come true for this society to be like this and it's not done in a uh prejudice way where well this is how it should be the men are still like this the women like that they're still written as characters and not biased or mm -hmm. or anything to where they will infer that's what it is. they infer <laughs> this is how it should be <laughs> well i also really like as you learn there's a mystery that the motion yoshimene is going to solve and it's been a cover-up going on so it's 10 episodes, so I'm looking forward to seeing the remaining nine. It's going to be really interesting. We won't spoil that mm -hmm. for you. But it's totally unlike, I think, a lot of people expect it to be. Yeah, I think so. I kind of was imagining it would be this way. I never read the manga, but just by reading it, I thought it had to be really interesting. It is. It didn't disappoint. I'm looking forward to watching the other nine episodes. And for this particular series, it was directed by Noriyuki Abe. Written by Rika Takasugi, and it's being produced by Studio Dean. So, this is something, I'm not sure if it's the same as the manga, or if it's been adapted, and the story changed for the Netflix original series. Right. If you've read the manga, let us know in the comments below. But if you haven't seen this, it's really a great watch. Just watching the first episode, wow. And looking forward to seeing the remainder of it. If you'd like to hear us give you a full review mm -hmm. once we finish watching the series, let us know in the comments below as well. So if you've seen Oku, The Inner Chambers, let us know what you think. 
-hmm. And if you have it, it's available on Netflix exclusively to watch, to stream. And we recommend you check it out because it's unlike anything that I think you've ever seen. Because as we mentioned here in the West, it's being done horribly. But <laughs> in this particular series, it's been made interesting, captivating, and you know that it's going to be good just within the first... I would say first 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you know it's something special when you watch it. Right. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to have on upcoming reviews, hacks, spoofs, tips, and more. Absolutely. And if you haven't already, visit Rascal Entertainment's channel. It's full of excellent videos, mashups, reviews. Have you seen this? And so much more. If you haven't visited, what are you waiting for? Yeah. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching. I'm Julie. And I'm Rascal. Have a fantastic day. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time. Tareka, washi ga onna shogun to naru koto ni izon wa aru ka e? Ouk.